In this video, let us learn the concept of a similarity. This is one of the most important, the basic concepts as far as geometry and even, in fact, math is concerned. What is it about something being similar? What, when does something get to be similar to each other? Well, here it is. So, geometric figures having the same shape but different sizes are known as similar figures. You know, it's the same shape but different sizes. Now, these, these kind of figures are called as similar figures. Now, does this take you back to something else, some other concept that we learned? Do you have doubts now? Well, some may not have any doubts, but some may have this doubt. Now, I'd like to bring in the concept of congruency at this point in time. It is, it is most important not to get confused between similarity and congruency of figures. Now, what similar figures is, they are the figures that, that have the same shape but different sizes, but different sizes. But what is congruency? That is going to have the same shape as well as the same size. Same shape as well as same size so it has to be equal in all the aspects that is those kind of figures are called congruent figures whereas similar figures are not going to be equal to each other or something like that they're not going to be alike in every respect like congruent figures similar figures are just going to be of the same shape but totally different sizes let me just help you understand it more better by some of the illustrations Say, for example, we've got one line segment here and another one a little longer one. Of course, these have to be straight. Yeah, you can see these two line segments. Let's name them, say, A, B and C, D. They both are very much similar to each other, shape-wise, of course. They're all, you know, just straight lines. But the length varies, right? But that doesn't matter. So if the length varies, they are still similar figures, but they are definitely not congruent figures. Now, whereas I draw something like this, say like this, and I name this A, B, and C, D. Now, in this case, the lines A, B, and C, D are similar as well as congruent to each other because they're not only of the same shape, but also of the same size, right? So, that's the whole point as far as the concept of similarity is concerned. Okay, let me give you another quick example. Let's take circles, okay? So, we've got one circle here, say this one, and then say we've got another circle of a different size. As far as the shape is concerned, both the figures are circles, right? They are circles. It's the same shape. A circle, smaller or bigger, both are circles. They are of the same shape, but they are different sizes. So, therefore, these two figures, let's name this, say, 1 and 2. The figures 1 and 2 are definitely similar to each other because both of them are circles, but they are definitely not congruent to each other because they are not of the same size so that's the most important thing okay let me conclude this video by giving another final example say we've got we've got two triangles yep these are the two triangles that we've got say triangle one and triangle two now, the triangle one is definitely not similar to triangle two now if it is not even similar it's definitely not going to be congruent as well okay so this is these are two completely different triangles if i have to have two triangles similar to each other then they have to be same kind of triangles there are different kinds of triangles right equilateral triangle isosceles triangle scalene triangle and so on so i can say now say for example we've got this triangle and this triangle let's consider these two as equilateral triangles in that case let's name these triangles three and four the triangles 3 and 4 are definitely similar to each other because they are equilateral. Both of them are equilateral. So, they are of the same shape, definitely. They will have the same angle, 60, 60, 60, and 60, 60, 60. Therefore, they are of the same shape, and therefore, they can be called two similar figures, but definitely not congruent figures because they need to also have the same sizes to be congruent to each other. So, that's the major difference between similarity and congruency. So, this ends this video. I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with more such concepts based on similarity.